Hi everyone, I'm Shelly from There's No Place Like Home at redheadmommate.wordpress.com. Today I just wanted to share with you a really quick video about two things that are foundational when you are homeschooling ADHD. Because you know what? When it comes to that, it's all about balance. Whether you are homeschooling a child who has been diagnosed as having ADHD, which I'm going to say right off the bat that I think that a lot of kids who have been diagnosed with ADHD really don't have it, but if you have a child who has been diagnosed with ADHD or if you just have a child that you know is really prone to distraction and really, really um, active, there are a couple things that you need to do in your homeschool so that you can kind of keep to help them grounded. And the two things that I'm going to talk to you about are things that really seem to be at odds with one another, but it's all about putting them together in order to find that balance that I had talked about. And these are the two things. First of all, you need structure. But second of all, you need to know how to go with the flow. And do you see what I'm talking about? They do seem like they are at opposite ends of the spectrum from one another. But here's the thing. When you think of the word structure, you will often think of rigidity. You will think of doing things at a certain time every single day. And you know what? While structure is extremely important to a child who has ADHD or to an active child, um, structure does not always have to mean rigidity. What structure means is having a child know approximately what is going to happen at what point in a given day. That doesn't mean that they need to know what time everything is going to happen. That doesn't mean that they need to know how long everything is going to take. But if they have an established order of things, it really does help to alleviate any chaos that might that might unfold in the course of the day which might happen if you have a child like I was mentioning who is a little bit distractible or who gets excitable about certain things I I have one child who was diagnosed with ADHD I have a few more that I bet if I would have had them in public school they would have been pushing for a diagnosis for, for those children too so I I'm coming at you with this um, from experience. Structure is important, but structure does not have to mean rigidity. However, it is something that you really should try to implement into not just your homeschooling routine, but into your home life that is going to help any child who has trouble maybe keeping themselves a little bit calm at times. Now, let's talk about the other thing though, going with the flow. What do you think of when it, when it comes to going with the flow? You might think of spontaneity. You might think of a lack of structure. You might think of just going with whatever comes next in the course of the day. And so this is where you really have to find that balance. To me, going with the flow simply means flexibility. It does not mean the absence of structure. Going with the flow means that if you notice at any point in time that something in that structure that you have created is no longer working for your child because this is very common, not just with a child with ADHD, but with any child. There are going to come points in their lives, milestones, if you'd like to call them that, when things that once worked really well for them no longer work and you have to transition into something else. And this is something that is really, really common in a child with ADHD. So yeah, don't be afraid that if you find that something just isn't um, going as smoothly as it used to in your routine, if it's something that you've been doing a long time and you know that it was working for your child, but there comes a point in time where it just never seems to work anymore, you've got to learn to read those signs, read those signals that your kids are giving you. And that is what I'm talking about, going with the flow. Don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be afraid to try to rearrange things, whether it comes in the order that you are doing things in your homeschool routine, whether it comes with the homeschool approach that you're using with your child. You know, they they might have once loved to do hands-on activities, but you might find as they're getting older that they start to get frustrated with those hands-on activities because they're turning into perfectionists. And this is something that I dealt with with one of my children. And so that might, that might come to a point in time that you have to try something new with your child. Don't be afraid of that. 
So having structure does not mean that things are never going to, to change. Having structure just means that you're giving your child an approximate plan of what they're going to do, but going with the flow means that you're not afraid to change something when you know that it really should be. Anyway, that's all that I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and would like to hear more of what I have to say, I would love if you would do that. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave one over on Instagram because YouTube disabled my comments. And if you like my work and would like to check out my Patreon page, I will leave a link in the description box for that as well. And today, I just want to give a shout out to my newest patron, Ina. Ina, thank you so much for supporting me. I'm so glad that my videos have been helping you, that you've enjoyed watching them. I hope that they continue to do that and I hope you all have a great day.